Celtic, the club have qualified for the Champions League, they're already a guaranteed group stage. How big a factor was that coming to Celtic that you're going to be playing six games in the Europe's Premier Club competition? It was, uh, uh, it was a, a part of it. Uh, Celtic is a big team and like, uh, playing against uh, the biggest teams as well is uh, one of the reasons I started playing football. So uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be tough, but it's going to be very fun also. You replaced a uh, fellow Swede in the squad, Carlos Starfield. You've took the number four shirt off him as well. Have you spoke to him since the move? No, I haven't uh, talked to him uh, at all. Uh, never really. Uh, but I know who he is, and I, and I know that he's done a lot of great things for, for Celtic. So I have huge respect for him. Just have um, with Celtic here, you've made the big move. When did you find out about Celtic's interest, and how long did it take to get finalised? Uh, I first uh, heard of it uh, one and a half week ago, so it wasn't that uh, long ago. Uh, and then it got finalised uh, yesterday, everything, all the all the paperwork and, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's gone uh, pretty quick. What would you say is your biggest strength as a centre-back and what maybe bits of your game do you hope to improve on over the season? Uh, I think, yeah, I think my best... Uh, Attribute is I always want to win. Uh, I'll always give everything for my teammates and, and for the fans. Uh, and then I would like I would say the passing probably long passes. Uh, and then hope to improve. I just uh, um, obviously the tempo is it's gonna be different than from Sweden. So just adapting to that and uh, to learn how, <coughs> how my teammates will play and uh, yeah, hopefully win. Thanks, man. Welcome to Celtic, Gustav. Um, with Cameron Carter Vickers out injured, that leaves a spot open in the team for Sunday. Has there been any discussions of you potentially starting on Sunday and would you be fit to start on Sunday? Uh, no uh, discussion really. I just had a, a, a quick talk with uh, Rogers and uh, yeah, he just wanted to welcome me. And uh, he knows it's a lot of new things happening now when you, when you move to a different club and country. Uh, and then I think. Uh, uh, we'll talk about more about football tomorrow and, and on Saturday. But I definitely feel uh, fit. I played the game on, on Sunday in, in Sweden, so I'm match fit and I'm ready to play. And with Celtic guaranteed to play in the Champions League group stages, are there any teams in particular that you would be looking forward to potentially facing? Well, not really. Just playing the Champions League is going to be it's going to be really fun. So. Hi, Gustav, and um, welcome to Celtic. Obviously, um. Like you said, with Cameron Carter Vickers um, looking to be out injured right now, um, with the potential of you coming in and taking that spot right away, um, and also on the horizon, we've got a big game against Rangers coming up. Are these the type of games you want to be playing in right away and showing how good a player you are? Yeah, I am. Just like now, I'm full focus on, on the next training tomorrow, first team, uh, first training with, with the team tomorrow, and uh, then we have an important cup game on, on Sunday, and hopefully. I can show I can can show everyone like who I am as a player. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a new club and it's a lot of new things. So just focusing on, on one thing at a time right now. And now it's training tomorrow. Um, growing up, um, what did you know about Celtic? Obviously, you've had Swedish players here before, like Ken Larsson. What did you know when you were, you know, growing up about Celtic? Uh, uh, it's a huge connection to Henrik Larsson, of course. Uh, being uh, so good here and also in the Swedish national team, uh, being one of the best players in, in Sweden. Uh, and then, uh, like, I know about the fans, it's really good atmosphere here. Um, just say it's a really big club with many supporters and uh, yeah, huge history with uh, winning many um, titles. Uh, hi, Gustav. Um, yeah. Your career with Elfsborg took off very quickly. Prior to this season, you were out on loan. What areas of your game do you think improved to help you become such an important player this year? I think uh, I game to play, showing more leadership, uh, like developing into the group and uh, taking more responsibility in games, showing what I can do and my, my strength. So, really think 
I need to like taking more more space in the group and, and on the pitch, not just playing for playing but playing for, for the sake of winning. And uh, you made your only European appearance two years ago in a qualifier against Feyenoord. You now join a team that's participating in the Champions League group stages. How determined are you to obviously make your mark at that level? And is European ambition something that you've discussed with the manager? I think, yeah, like every game I, I go into uh, as a player, I was going to win. And, and the Champions League is no exception. So I don't think it really matters if, if we play a team from from a small country or if we play Barcelona or Real Madrid or Old Man City that I think that we should, should go out and uh, for winning like, no matter what teams we're playing against. Cheers. We've got time for one or two more and anybody's got any names. You've been playing left centre half but you're right footed. Is that something you consciously try to develop when you were younger so you could play on that side? Yeah, I've always uh, tried to improve uh, like my left foot so to get it as good as possible, and uh, that's uh, like it benefits me playing on the left side, using using my left foot a lot. And since I came to to Elspire, I was played uh, on the left side, so there I have developed my left foot even more. So yeah, I feel I feel comfortable playing on on both sides. So the fact. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the Aspen scan with Elfsburg, you played 19 games uh, so far this season, top of the league when you left, you had the best defence in the division, uh, is that something that you're match fit, you're looking ready to contribute straight away and take that match sharpness into the season with Celtic? Yeah, it's uh, it's one of the best p things playing in Sweden is when you leave in the summer you're, you're match fit and you don't, you don't need a pre-season to, to get going, uh, so yeah, I feel, I feel fit and I feel ready to play now, yeah, next coming games. One more than that. Um, obviously, last season, uh, Celtic's philosophy was kind of playing out from the back a lot, playing a lot of football, building up the pitch with the ball. Um, wanting to do something similar this season as it looks. Um, are you comfortable playing out from the back? Is it something you, you enjoy doing, you know, playing with your defenders, full backs, and your midfielders in the goal? Yeah, it's, it's a football that, that I really like playing and yeah, playing in possession base football with uh, lots of intensity and always like attacking minded so I think I think it was super well. Okay, thank you. I'll send the video like when Martin's finishing. <laughs>